Here we have scored some fine goals so far this season and there's much more of the same to come in this one. A Cali Thistle attack was the springboard for the opening goal of the match. This was a well-executed move involving three players, one of them Owen Coyle, who was to be a huge influence in this result. On the end of this cross was Neil McFarlane, scoring his second outstanding goal in consecutive weeks. This was to open the floodgates for the proverbial barrel load from the Diamonds, and the fine goal it was too. Now Owen Coyle, something of an elder statesman in footballing terms these days, but there's nothing stately about his skill. His touch is always deft and sure, and here he shows why his signature has been sought after by many clubs over the years. He'll tell you his right foot is normally for standing on, but that's as good a finish with his wrong foot as manager Ian McCall could wish for. Airdrie were on a roll by this time and were soon seeking a third. It came from the spot after Mark Roberts was bundled off the ball by Stuart McCaffrey. Despite his pleas of innocence, the award stood and Coyle was soon celebrating his second of the match. Kelly's inability to clear their line soon saw them four goals down, with just half an hour on the clock. You have to be quick to catch this one, quicker than the Inverness defence anyway, as Lee Gardner adds to Nicky Walker's dismay. The word rout does spring to mind here, but Cali did break forward on occasion. But when nice work by Wynes set up Roy McBain, he couldn't do the necessary. The same couldn't be said for Owen Coyle, who at the ripe old age of 34 still has the pace needed to get in the end of this. And here's another superb strike from that left foot. A hat trick for Coyle, but surely question marks over the Cali rear guard. This all were by now facing an impossible task, but in the second half tried to maintain their dignity. This was their best effort of the day, but Roberts out of luck. Another goal seemed inevitable and Paul Armstrong took advantage of a somewhat fortuitous deflection to move in on Walker and Caliber hit for six. Ian McCall is now a target for the big clubs, but through deference to his friend Billy Davis, refuses to discuss reports of his prospects of moving to Lanarkshire rivals Motherwell. Bad day for the club, worst result I've had in seven years at Inverness. So, uh, but let's like say full credit to Airdrie, the, you know, they're having a fantastic season and the quality of Owen Coyle's finishing was, was you know, premier class. I think uh, Steve Parks and his team have been in relative terms, the most successful side in Scotland over four or five years. Uh, and I admire the way they play, but, you know, to be honest, we blew them away today. Yeah, you're always pleased to score any goals in the game. The fact that getting three goals so early in the match was obviously yeah, very delightful. But the most important thing, as you say, was the fact we got three points on top of that.